Book smart teenager, Celine, and her father, Christopher, moved to Byrates to stay with their extended family after the loss of Celine's mother. Celine believes time with her uncle, Mr. Riva, and his teenage daughter, Charlotte would go a long way for the family, especially since her father has been depressed. Dangerous Liaisons is a film about the dangers of love and how cruel it can be. Celine and Tristan play the puppets in this game of love. Tristan is the high school heartthrob as well as the reigning surfing champion. He crosses paths with Celine when her dog, Zach, goes missing. He saves the dog from getting hit by a car on the road. In the process of rushing to save it, his board falls and is split into two. Celine rushes to her dog after Tristan holds him. She thanks Tristan and worries about his board. He assures her that he has many other boards. They are interrupted by some girls who want to take pictures with him. Celine tries to leave but he offers to take her home. In the car, Tristan notices that she's new and offers to show her around the town. She refuses and tells him that she is in a beautiful relationship and has no intention to cheat on him. He teases her for speaking like his grandmother but understands. Celine further tells him that she will be going to Victor Hugo High School to complete her senior high school education. He realizes that the principal, Mr. Patrick Riva, is her uncle. He wonders how she can be family with Charlotte who is quirky and outspoken. Celine talks about her boyfriend, Pierre who stayed back in Paris to study medicine. Tristan further teases her about long distances and in response, she speaks about teeth white and is wearing down his enamel. He notices that Celine is not the social media type when he asks for her Instagram username. She claims to have better things to do than go through social media. He laughs and asks her about the better things. When she responds about her father's depression and mother's death he feels sad. Although, she gives him an account name that Pierre opened for her. When Tristan reaches her home, he asks her to go surfing with her at the beach tomorrow. She tells him only in his dreams. Eventually, they meet for lessons at the beach. They have a fun time as he teaches her how to surf. While she changes out of her wet clothes, he stares at her. They nestle by the beach shore to talk. He realizes the ring on her finger and she breaks the news that she is getting married to Pierre next year. He teases her for marrying so early. Celine gets upset and tells him that she believes in marriage and is not the kind to sleep around. She wants to share her body with one man. Tristan never thought about the possibility of soulmates because he has never fallen in love. In response, she compares him to Pierre, stating that they are very different. She stands up from the shore, realizing that she has to FaceTime him. They are watched by the two influencers of Victor Hugo, Naya and Ariel, who take videos and send them to Vanessa. Vanessa is a pop icon who rose to fame when she was little. She was the star of the show, Little Sophie. Vanessa runs the school and is also in a relationship with Tristan. Seeing the pictures, she tells her father, Guillermo, that he needs to book a flight back to Byrates. Tristan gives Celine a book from Proust. She is amazed that he got a hand in the first edition. She finds an envelope inviting her to his small get-together pool party. To entice her, he promises to introduce her to everyone. She agrees only if her cousin can come. Celine and Charlotte arrive at Tristan's mansion and they are marveled at the number of people there. Beatrice watches Tristan as he raps, with everyone hyping him up. She realizes that he has a thing for music. He cites her and leaves the stage to say hello to her. She teases him saying it was a small get-together, seeing how many people arrived. They get distracted when Oscar, the voice semi-finalist, shows up. Charlotte is a huge fan and tries to make conversation with him before he leaves with his friend, Clara. Charlotte is ridiculed by one of Tristan's friends, who speaks about her being in the convent for 10 years and calls her a dweeb. He doesn't know that it is Charlotte. She responds that she only stayed in the convent for six years and is not a dweeb. She walks away to put on her bathing suit. Celine is upset that Tristan's friend was so mean to Charlotte. When she calls him out, he is unable to apologize before he is whisked away by the crowd. Beatrice meets Tao, a DJ who also sells to people. He gets into a conversation with her about the book she brought to read at the pool party. When Celine cites Vanessa on the balcony, she marvels at her. Tao informs her that she and Tristan are a power couple. Celine is shocked to know that they have been together since childhood. Tao narrates the social hierarchy of the school, with Tristan and Vanessa being the bosses, followed by Oscar and Clara. Then they have influencers like Naya and Ariel who are like minions. The knights are the football players and the jester, Buffin. He speaks about the peasants finally. Celine asks about the man smoking, Ben, who is in love with Tao secretly. He only responds to his messages online, but hardly talks to him in person. She asks him about his place in the social hierarchy and he says that he is the merchant because he is friends with everyone and is practically invaluable. They begin a friendship. Back in the room, Tristan and Vanessa take pictures to post on social media to keep up their fake relationship. They talk about her incident of losing the 2020 challenge. They usually have a yearly school challenge, but she lost the last one to him when she couldn't seduce the principal. She reminds her of the 2019 challenge where she seduced a monk. For this year's challenge, she asks if he wants to turn Charlotte into the school's designated booty call. He refuses and she mocks him for being soft. With humor, he asks her why they haven't slept together, but she claims it's not in the contract they drafted up. She agrees for one time. 
She makes up a challenge to sleep with Charlotte first but he refuses. Vanessa sees Celine and finds out that she is engaged. Tristan claims that he can make her forget about her boyfriend. Vanessa loves the plan and tells him that if he goes through, she would leave the beach house for him. Additionally, she promises to make amends to the contract which involves more foreplay between them. Charlotte walks in, wanting to use the bathroom. She gets excited to see Vanessa and hugs her. Tristan goes back to the party and doesn't see Celine. He asks Tao, who gives him a letter from her. Celine leaves to see Pierre at the train station and asks that he take care of Charlotte while she's out. Tristan accepts the challenge to sleep with Charlotte. It's the first day of school. The boys make fun of Tao for being gay. She confronts Tristan for being mean and for making fun of Tao and Charlotte. In philosophy class, Mr. Riva notices that a paper is circulating among the students. When he gets to Celine, he tells her to read it, knowing that it is a paper rating all of the girls, she talks about the play instead. Everyone is impressed by her knowledge. After the bell rings, Vanessa tries to make small talk about her ring. Charlotte spills the beans that she is engaged. The girls bully her, thinking that she's pregnant for choosing to marry early at the age of 17. The influencers spread the news to everyone in school and everyone applauds her for the engagement. She instantly becomes more popular. Tristan sees Tao and Celine talking about Lucas, a guy who had a surfing accident. When they bring up the GoFundMe for his treatment, Tristan donates $1,000, just to look good in Celine's eyes. She notices his trick and gently calls him out on it. During the student body meeting, Tristan hopes that he would raise more money for the treatment. The students aren't particularly excited about it. He talks about french fries and they are excited. He transfers a thousand bucks, which he got from a GoFundMe, to the account. He leaves her. He further thanks Celine for agreeing to raise the money with him. They briefly come up with the plan of doing a show about the princess. Instead of the show, they will turn it into a musical. The council doesn't think it would work. She tells them her father will direct it since he has the experience and also three Tony Awards. They quickly agree to go forward with the play. Tristan and Celine celebrate their success together. He asks her to go to the movies and she rejects him, saying she has a FaceTime dinner with Pierre. They see Frank, bullying a fellow student. Tristan stands up for him and punches him. Celine is impressed by what she sees. When he returns to her, she promises to make it for the movie. She leaves for her home. Tristan goes back to Frank and pays him for the show he put up. It was all a front to win her over. Celine returns home to her father and tells him about the play. He is skeptical about it. She tries to convince him that it is something that he loves to do. After his wife died, nothing makes sense and he doesn't want to do it anymore. She pleads with him to do it for her, but he hesitates. Defeated, she tells him that she will find someone else to do it. He comes back and asks for more details about the show. She loves it as he talks about the stage and more information. He then agrees to do it. Tristan gets ready for the movie and waits for Celine. He is upset that she brought Charlotte to the movies. During the movie, Charlotte sits between the two of them. Every time Celine tries to take some of the popcorn, he moves it away. She calls him out on being childish. He moves over to her side and kisses her. Upset, she slaps him and leaves the cinema. Tristan rushes after her to explain that it was a joke and he didn't mean to kiss her. She is very upset and speaks about how she was warned about him. He tries to call her back but she leaves. Tristan realizes that someone is speaking badly about him to Celine. He takes Vanessa to visit Tao. They intimidate and blackmail him. Tristan says that he would post the video of him selling to minors if he doesn't help him out with Celine. Tristan wants him to put a tracking device on Celine's phone to know all of her movements and the messages she sends. Tao agrees because he is over 18 years old and if caught, he could end up in prison. Tao later visits Celine in her home and has the opportunity to alter Celine's phone. The next day at school, Tristan and his friends sit at Celine's table. While Charlotte tries to make small talk with Oscar about the voice, Celine is uncomfortable about Tristan's presence. Charlotte is called aside by her father who pushes her to audition for the play. She refuses because she cannot sing. Vanessa tries to play the good guy and promises to help her out with her singing since she is very good. Celine leaves the table because she wants to avoid him. Tristan follows Tao to the restroom and shows him the phone. Vanessa gets Oscar to help Charlotte with singing lessons. She starts to sing but he stops her, insisting they start with warm-ups. Vanessa leaves them alone. Oscar places a hand on her tummy and makes her do breathing exercises. They play and joke together. Vanessa is told that the producers don't love her little Sophie season 4 script while Tristan goes through pictures of Celine online. She has been reunited with Pierre. He figures out from her conversation that Charlotte is the one speaking badly about him. Angered, he calls Vanessa and tells her that he is ready to sleep with Charlotte as a bet. Vanessa is thrilled and says she would set it up. Charlotte is walking home when Vanessa invites her and Celine to the Cosmo party at her mansion. She tells Celine about it and is excited about it. Celine agrees to it after she sees that Charlotte loves it. They arrive at her mansion. Charlotte sees Oscar who is dressed like a prince. He asks her to save a dance with him. Vanessa arrives, dressed as a dark princess, and gives her advice about getting intimate with someone. 
She tells her to sleep with someone else she doesn't care about to hurt the person she wants. Tao is helping Celine with her dress when a message from Ben shows up on his phone. She pushes him to meet with him in real life, instead of keeping things on social media. They tease each other. Charlotte arrives, dressed as a provocative nun. The party begins and Vanessa spikes the punch, filling it with alcohol. Tao tells Tristan to do whatever he likes with the video but he should leave Celine alone. Tristan refuses and goes to see Vanessa, who plans to get intimate with Charlotte. Later on, Tristan tells Tao that the video has been deleted and he would no longer blackmail him. Tao is surprised by his change of heart and asks more questions, but Tristan is distracted by Celine coming down the stairs. She looks so beautiful dressed as a princess. Celine and Charlotte both drink from the punch and start to dance together. Call Me Maybe starts playing, and they dance to the upbeat song. Tristan also tries to dance with them. When a slow song comes up and she tries to leave, he meets up with her and asks her to dance. They start to dance and their chemistry is impossible to miss. He tries to kiss her. She leaves abruptly, trying to avoid it. He drinks heavily and approaches Charlotte to start the bet. They get to the bedroom and she strips for him while he takes a video of her. While she reads the contraception's manual, he tries to stimulate himself. When she turns back to him, he is sleeping. She leaves to get food from the kitchen. The other influencer, Ariel, is eating and then complaining about being fat. Charlotte tells her that she is very beautiful. They start to kiss each other. Everyone else at the party is drunk and starts to take part in orgies. Charlotte also begins to make out with Oscar. Drunk also, Celine begins to think about Tristan. In her dream, he is reading her poetry and kissing her on the bed. She wakes up when he tries to sleep with her in the dream. She realizes that she may have feelings for him. The next day, Charlotte gives Tristan some pancakes. He asks her if she enjoyed the intimate moment, thinking they slept together. She tells him that they did not sleep together and he is shocked. Celine arrives at the table to try to eat. Things are weird between him and her. When she leaves for the road, he invites her for a ride on his motorcycle. She agrees to it and they visit a special place of his. He tells her that he comes here before competitions. She says that she would have to show the place to Pierre and speaks about him and Vanessa. He tells her that she is special. He proceeds to kiss her cheek and continues to kiss her. They share their first kiss. She takes off his shirt, and he takes off her clothes. When she expresses her concern about the intimate act hurting her, he realizes that she is a virgin. She kisses him and suddenly, he makes an excuse to not sleep with her. During the ride home, she cries at his rejection. She sees Pierre on the road, and he confronts her for being with another man. Celine introduces the two but calls Tristan her friend. Tristan leaves them alone. Pierre asks Celine if she has feelings for him. They eventually break up. Tristan gets home to Vanessa and lies to her that he slept with Charlotte. He tells her that he cannot sleep with Celine because he was filled with emotions, but he would get it done. The audition for the play starts with Celine, Christopher, and Mr. Riva being in charge. Celine ignores Tristan after their night despite him trying to reach out to her. She doesn't want to talk about what happened between the two. Charlotte and Oscar are together and kissing. He asks her if he is the first guy she slept with and she answers that she only slept with girls in the Covenant. He wants to be something with her. Charlotte agrees and later visits Ariel and they get intimate in her home. Celine and Charlotte speak in the night about love. Celine reveals that she and Pierre are over. Charlotte tells her at least she was engaged, as she talks about her situation of having a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Tao and Ben also break up because he doesn't want to be seen with him publicly. At the end of the auditions, Christopher announces the roles. Tristan gets the lead male role and Charlotte would play the princess with Celine as her understudy. Vanessa gets the role of the queen and gets upset because she has only two scenes. Mr. Riva speaks to Celine and Tristan about the script not being complete. After the meeting, they both walk out awkwardly, in silence. He tries to talk to her but Celine wants nothing with him. He applauds her for her Instagram getting followers and she is excited about it. They later meet at his house to talk about the script. Tristan gets out of the pool to greet her and her dog, Zach. Going into his house, she notices an empty picture frame on the table. His mother bought it for him, she wants him to put his picture there when he wins the surfing championship. She meets his mother who is only concerned about his practice with surfing. Tristan introduces Celine to his mother. The woman realizes that she is the daughter of Christopher. When asked about her mother, Tristan notices Celine is sad. He tells his mother about the death. Unfortunately, the woman barely listens and leaves to answer a phone call. He suggests they work on the beach house. He goes surfing and she wants to surf too. He tells her not to surf because the waves are dangerous. She's stubborn, though, and doesn't do as she's told. When she gets into the water, she gets carried away by the waves. Luckily, Tristan is there to save her. He takes her back to the shelter and then tries to warm her up. He apologizes to her and tells her that he fell in love with her the first time they saw each other. She tells him that she is single now. He also reveals that he never slept with Vanessa and also almost slept with Charlotte. He hopes it wouldn't be a deal breaker between them. She claims that it would have been months ago but now, things have changed. They get intimate. The next day at school, Celine is greeted by a lot of students who are curious about her growth on social media. Vanessa is jealous about it and sends the video of Charlotte. The video shows her being with Oscar, Tristan and Ariel. It's showtime and Charlotte is nowhere to be found. She hid herself from embarrassment. Oscar is drunk and cannot perform. 
Christopher makes changes and tells Celine she has to play the role of the princess. Ben starts to sing while Tao plays the piano. They then kiss at the end of the song. Vanessa tells Tristan to drop Celine and he backs out. She can have the beach house but he is backing out of the bet. He doesn't want to be a part of it because he loves her now. She threatens to ruin him. He doesn't care about his career. He says that if she wants war, she would get it. She urges him to dump Celine. If he doesn't, she will tell her about everything. As Celine and Tristan are on the stage, singing, he stops the music and announces that they cannot be together. She is confused about the change of script. He says he doesn't love her. She asks if there is someone else and he says that there are so many. She blames herself for getting involved with him. He pushes her to get back with Pierre. She calls him a bad person and when she wants to leave, Vanessa gets on the stage and tells her that it was all a bet. Tristan goes back to the beach to drink while the show ends. Vanessa joins him on the beach and attempts to get back with him. He pushes her away and calls her fake. Angry, she releases a video of Celine and Tristan getting intimate. Vanessa makes it seem as though she was the victim and Tristan was cheating on her. Celine runs away and people applaud Vanessa. Tristan also uploads his video, exposing Vanessa for who she is. The video shows her insulting her fans and calling them useless. The crowd boos her off the stage. Celine rushes to the beach and gets into the water. Pierre saves her and they lie on the shore. She apologizes to him for hurting him. He agrees that the engagement was too soon because he wanted to get her mind off grieving her mother. Tristan goes live and tells everyone of the plan to sleep with Celine. He has changed now that he is in love with her. Charlotte is found by her dad when she hides in the house. He embraces her and forgives her. To make amends, Celine meets Tristan on the beach and forgives him. He says he wants to be a good man for her. Tristan now believes in soulmates after being close to her. They make up and kiss. In the end credit scene, Charlotte, Ariel, and Oscar marry in a large ceremony. Vanessa is alone. Tristan performs a song after the wedding and everyone is happy, dancing.